Yes, it's another lesson. We are done with simplex under linear programming. Today we are dealing with transportation technique. Now in transportation technique, we'll do the areas of our coverage. One, introduction. Two, assumption. Three, methods. Four, preparation and presentation of transportation problem. So we start with introduction. What is transportation? Transportation problem are of particular class of allocation problem. So we have what we call allocation. The objective in this problem is to ship various amount of single homogeneous commodity that are stored at several origin to a number of destination. So in transportation problem, we are looking at the demand vis-a-vis -vis the supply. So one point is the source, the other point is the destination. Under this technique, we determine the amount of goods demanded and the amount of goods required to be supplied at the minimum cost from the source to the destination. The transportation is to determine the transportation schedule that minimizes the cost of transportation, cost of transporting the manufactured product from the various plants to various retail shops or consumers. So in transportation problem, we are actually minimizing the cost, establishing the best schedule for transporting a product from the source to destination. Terminologies. One, feasible solution. A set of non-negative individual allegations which satisfy the row and column restriction basic feasible solution, a feasible solution to M times N transportation problem when the total number of allocation is exactly equals to M times N minus N. Optimal solution, when it minimizes the transportation cost, non-degeneration basic solution, a solution which fulfilled the following one, the number of allocation is equals to m times n minus 1. The allocation are independent position. So the basic solution and optimal solution is our critical area of our learning. Uses. To minimize the transportation cost from factories to warehouse or warehouse to market. Two, to determine the low cost location for new factory. Three, to determine the minimum cost production schedule. Assumption. Number one assumption, the total quantity available for distribution is equal to the total requirement in different destinations. In other words, the demand must be equal to supply. The units of transportation cost from source to destination is certain. So we must be certain of what we are transporting. Number two, the unit transportation cost is independent of the quantity transported. So the unit to be transported must be independent of the quantity to be transported. The objective is to minimize the transportation cost, the best cost in transporting a product. Application. The transportation technique can be applied in the following areas. One, cost minimizing problem. Two, time minimizing problem. Three, distance minimizing problem. Four, profit maximization problem. So our case, we are looking at cost minimizing problem. Transportation table. This is how you can come up with transportation table. Or it's called cost effective matrix table. So we have D1, D2, this is destination, S1, S2, this is the source, and this is the destination. Available is actually the supply, what to be supplied. Required is the demand, goods to be demanded. So when you follow this table, you will get to understand how transportation problem is supposed to be solved. From the transportation table, the total Available goods must be equal to the total 
required goods. In other words, the sum of A, A i equals to the sum of B j. The problem is to determine the quantity x i j to be transported from the i source to the j destination such that the total cost summation of x i j times the cost of i j per unit is minimized. Transportation problem in linear programming setting. Determine the variables. So number one, we need to determine the variables to be used. Two, let x i j be the number of the unit transported from i source to j destination. Let c i j be the cost of transportation of transporting one unit from i source to j destination. Let a i be the unit available supply in the source in the i source and b j b the unit required demanded in the j destination. Determine the objective function. Now our objective function will be c is summation of i j times x i j unit to be consumed and demanded. Determine the constant variables. This is how you determine the constant variables. Summation of i j equals to a i for one for i is one two three m. Summation of i x i j equals to b j for j is one two three to n. So summation of i j must be greater or equals to zero for i and j. Formulation. How to formulate the problem? The following are the steps to be followed in the preparation of transportation problem. Number one, determine the variables. Two, set up the transportation table. Three, develop the initial visible solution to the problem. Test whether the solution is optimal. If the solution is not optimal, modify the allocation. Repeat step four and five until an optimal solution is obtained. Now, initial visible solution. How do you get the initial visible solution? The following are the methods used in determining the initial visible solution in transportation problem. Number one, not waste corner method. Number two, lowest cost entry method. It's also called matrix method. Number three is Vogel approximation method, also called penalty method. Now, we'll take Northwest corner method as one of our example. Under this method, we use the Northwest corner cell to determine the visible amount. Step followed. Number one, allocate the Northwest corner cell, which is cell 11, maximum possible amount, which is minimum of row total and column total so you identify which one is minimum from the demand and supply consider the reduced matrix after crossing either the exhausted row or column so after doing the allocation the amount the matrices that remains are actually called reduced matrix so in the reduced matrix create another table work out the solution Repeat the above steps until all the available quantities are exhausted. So we are repeating step one and two until we achieve our optimal solution, our visible solution. Now, this is a question. A milk manufacturer, manufacturer with a facility in various places, have manufactured plan in capsule donated by letter K, Busia by letter B, and Meru by letter N. On a normal working days, the usual daily production for these three plan is 54 capsule plan, 44 Busia, and 64 Meru. In addition, this company has three warehouses located in Voi donated by 
letter V generally denoted by a letter C and Nairobi denoted by a letter N. These warehouses have daily demand of 20 units for Voi, 95 units for Jemelil, and 35 units for Nairobi. The following table gives a summary of shipping cost per unit. So this is our table showing us the presentation of our problem. Now, 